This is the Cholo News Report for Friday 18, January, 2019. A suicide carbon attack at General Santander National Police Academy in Bogota, Colombia, kills at least 20 people and injures more than 50 others. The group known as Long, considered a lesser military threat than the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, whose 7,000 guerrilla fighters disarmed as part of a 2,000 and 16 peace accord. But in the wake of the peace deal, the Cuban-inspired insurgency has been gaining strength, especially along the eastern border with Venezuela, where it has carried out a number of kidnappings and bombings of oil pipelines. While the majority has been carried out with low-grade homemade materials and grenades that have damaged property but left no casualties, he said police intelligence and checkpoints surrounding the city need to be reinforced to prevent more attacks. Gunman on motorbikes shoot Ghanaian, investigative journalist Omd Hussein Chuail to death in Accra. Omd was a member of the Tiger Eye private investigations team that exposed high-level corruption in the Ghana Football Association. The killing came as a shock in Ghana, whose vibrant press enjoys relative freedom compared to many African nations. U.S. President Donald Trump postpones House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's upcoming diplomatic trip to Europe. Afghanistan and Egypt after she urged the president to postpone his upcoming state of the Union address over the ongoing government shutdown. Mr. Trump's cancellation of the trip emerged less than an hour before the Democratic Speaker of the House of Representatives was scheduled to leave on Thursday afternoon, United States media say. Out of consideration for the 800,000 great American workers not receiving pay, and to ensure his team can assist as needed, President Trump has cancelled his delegation's trip to the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, Mrs. Sanders said in a statement. The White House had reportedly been caught flat-footed by Ms. Pelosi's State of the Union announcement on Wednesday, and was searching for ways to circumvent the Speaker's threatened roadblock. In Manbij, Syria, a suicide attack claimed by ISIL causes at least 19 casualties, among them, Two U.S. soldiers, a Pentagon civilian, and a civilian contractor are reported dead, and three other service members wounded. Since then, Trump and other senior officials have at times used more cautious rhetoric in addressing the Islamic State, which the Pentagon has said retains significant combat power, especially in eastern Syria, where it continues to hold territory. Hundreds of U.S. troops have been stationed in Manbij in an attempt to prevent extremists from regaining strength, and to foster stability in an area, strategic to both NATO ally Turkey to the north and Syrian Kurdish forces, who have been the chief U.S. partner against the Islamic State. Dozens of people remain missing one day after a deadly attack, on a popular hotel complex in Nairobi, according to the Kenya Red Cross Society. Kenyan President Uru Kenyatta vowed authorities would pursue relentlessly those involved in the funding, planning and execution of the attack. In a televised address, Kenyatta said that multiple security efforts are underway to detect, deter, disrupt and defeat any terrorist operative or group.